taper modify. The taper modify is used to taper an object by scaling it on both ends. Um, so we can scale it up or we can scale it down. So we can come up with all kinds of shapes. So there are two ways of getting to the taper modify command. The first one is I'll select an object and I can come up here and say, oops, sorry, let's go with, I meant select an object, I can pick an object, just long, any way you can select, you can, as long as you have an object selected, we're going to go up to then modifiers pull down. And the modifiers, we're going to go to parametric deformers, and we're going to go down to taper. And then the taper then will end up with our parameters in our command panel. Now, I'm going to uh, use alt select and I'm going to undo that and another method is I can select an object such as this object and I can come up into my command panel and go to modify and then in modify then I can come down and hit the down arrow and I want to go to my object space modifiers I want to go all the way down to taper and in the taper command then I can make sure it's, it's selected and I have the parameter dialog box. Now, if I change the amount of taper to like 0.5, it's essentially taking it and reducing it by half on one end. All right. Um, if I go with negative 0.5, you can see how it does the other end, uh, reduces it by half. So if I go with zero on both ends, you can see what the size looks like. So essentially I can put a taper on and I can choose which axis I want on it. I can come over here and say that the X is the primary axis and what effect do I want on that axis. I want it on the Z, I want it on the Y, or on the ZY plane. I can go with a Y and pick what effect I want, or on the Z and pick what effect I want. Okay, you can always check the symmetry box as well. Let's go up, uh, let's go up to the curve. In the curve, this will allow it to uh, define uh, a curve applied to the gizmo and it will allow us to get different shapes. So I'm going to go with like two and I'll pick and you can see it builds these uh, lines around here, these curved lines and that allows uh, some different shapes and so I can have these values in the amount and curves um, they can vary between negative 10 and 10. So I'll go all the way up to like 5 now. You can see it gets kind of hard to see. So I'll go with negative 5. You can see that down below. So I'm just going to go with a 2, for example, right now. All right. And uh, let's go down the limits. And let's go back to more of a standard looking closer to the not as not as tapered and not or not as uh, uh, tapered of a unit. Let's go 0.5. Okay. Let's come down here to our limits. I can limit the effects of this taper, and I'm going to say I want to put the upper limit at say 25, and I'm going to uh, I can put it on, but I have to turn it on the checkbox. Now it's going to be tapered for the first. 25 units and then it's not going to apply the taper anymore. So let me change that then to say 30. You'll see where that line changes now. It's going 30 units. If I was down at say 10, you can see down here. So I could have an upper and lower limit, say 10 to 30, and now it only applies into effect in the 10 to 30 range. Uh, so uh, I can turn this on or off and I'll limit the effects of the taper of the object. So this is a taper modify 
a modifier that's used to scale the ends or both ends of an object to uh, make different types of shapes.